What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner. I was riding home tonight from salsa dancing when I um, stumbled across a clip from earlier today where President Trump was taking some impromptu questions from the funky, dirty, nasty liberal media. And, you know, I saw him do some questions with Fox News prior to talking to the crooks. And, you know, they were asking sensible questions, being respectful. Then he runs across the crooked, dirty, nasty liberal media. And they're just yelling out questions all over the place. And uh, it was so funny because President Trump has got to be the realest president we'll ever, ever have. And he is so candid. And he's actually funny. And what makes me mad about that is the media cannot appreciate the humor in his his direct, candid approach, and his uh, sarcasm. So the one guy asked, what did you mean when you said that you wished our people would stand up at attention like you said for the Kim Un Kung Jun's people stood up for attention? And he's like, oh, come on, man. It, I was being sarcastic. He said, where are you from? Where are you from? And the guy was like, CNN. He's like, CNN. Oh, come. See, and, and that just goes to show that and and hopefully cnn doesn't take that story and try to make it into something it isn't because once again they asked him the question during the interview and the first thing he pointed out is the fact that if you're from cnn already know you don't you're going to take it and you're going to try to make it into something that it's not and then the funny uh another funny part is the lady who asked him um at first you said it was terrible what happened to otto and then now you're praising kim jong-un why this sudden change? He said, you know why? Because I don't want to see nuclear bombs blow up you or your family. You know, real answers to dumb questions. Just being candid straight to the point and exposing how silly some of these accusations and rebuttals and, and false narratives are. He's trying to keep the world from going into a catastrophic event that could cost millions and millions of lives. And they're asking questions like, why are you being so nice to Kim Jong-un? It's psychological warfare. You jab people's head up to keep them on task. As long as Kim Jong-un thinks President Trump is his buddy and that President Trump is encouraging. It's like telling somebody, uh, you know, tomorrow you're going to do great on that test because I believe in you. You know, now what happens psychologically, they start thinking, wow, I got to I got to follow through this person. Somebody's counting on me. They believe in me and I don't want to disappoint them. That's what that is. But the media is trying to twist it and make it seem like all of a sudden President Trump just flip flopping. He loves Kim Jong Un. He's negotiating and getting him to a point where those nukes are gone. Trust me, the lingo will change if for whatever reason Kim Jong Un's attitude changes or he doesn't follow through. And they know that. But they're trying to find a reason to say this was horrible. Or Trump is doing it the wrong way when none of them had a solution. None of the past presidents had a solution to this problem. All this is, is nothing more than media manipulation. But Trump's candid answers are absolutely classic. And I don't even know how you can rebuttal from him saying, you know why? Because I don't want to see a nuclear bomb blow up you and your family. What are you going to say? Well, well, you know what? If, if being too nice to, to Kim Jong-un and saying nice things about him is, is, is going to you know, make us look bad, like we're, we're catering to an evil dictator, then I'd rather, I'd rather get blown up. I'd rather the nuclear bombs just rain on us because we don't want to make Kim Jong-un feel like he's got a, a legitimate seat at the table. So would you please blow us up? And that's what it sounds like. The liberal media are more interested in getting Trump out of there or making him look bad versus their own safety or America's safety. They'd rather See, Trump failed in every area, economically, uh, nationally, um, when it comes to international affairs, all of that stuff, so that we can get him out of there and make him look bad. So, yeah, fine. Crash the economy. Fine. Blow us up. Fine. Let's go ahead and watch millions of people get killed because we don't want Trump to seem like he's being too nice to Kim Jong-un. So dumb. Boy, how do they even stay in business? How? Do anybody watch them and, and really take them seriously? It's it's crazy. Anyway, you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Just food for thought. It was a late night snack. That's what I'm dropping on you. All right, God bless you. If you like this video, hit like, share it. Um, find me on Facebook, on Twitter, 
and we will catch you next time in Kevin's Corner. If you want to support Kevin's Corner, there are links in the bottom. Do so. All right. God bless. Take care.